Hello and welcome back to another SQL tutorial. This is video number five of the series and the mission is to spend five minutes every day to learn SQL and at the end of the uh, few weeks you will realize that you are quite comfortable with SQL. So I'll quickly uh, run SQL command line interface. This is a command line tool provided by, by Oracle Corporation and there is a graphic user interface as well and eventually we'll jump onto it. Every vendor of relational database management system provides you with some kind of interfacing, some kind of tools that you can use to learn and practice SQL. Now there are different flavors of SQL. Every vendor uh, modifies this language to and, and there are some commands that are limited to their products only but all of the components uh, are available in each flavor let me tell you one more thing one important thing again SQL is composed of four components one is a data definition language so there are a set of commands that come under data definition language and these are the commands that are used to create a database object for example a table there's only three components of uh, DDL or data definition language one is create command the other is uh, alter command and drop these three commands these three statements make a data definition language component of SQL the other component of SQL is data manipulation language and again there's only three three commands that make data manipulation language one is insert command one is update and the third one is delete okay and the third component is data control language DCL which controls the access to the database and to different database objects I'll quickly connect to database and I'll type in password and the, the fourth component of SQL is select statement itself select asterisk from cat cat is short for catalog and this part is only limited to Oracle so if you were using DB2 or MySQL and you type this command it won't work this will only work for Oracle so we have only one database object which is a table and the table is phone book select asterisk from phone book asterisk or this little star means all all the data all columns and all rows okay you can use where to limit the data say for example you can also uh, select limited columns say for example select name from phone book it will show you names only you can also select two columns name and P number so I um, want to select this name and this number only from phone book and you have name and phone number only you can name from phone book you can use where clause where name is equal to okay so it will show you the phone number of this person only all right now we have used uh, two components of data definition language in, in past videos we created a table so we used uh, create a statement and then we modified the table using alter statement and we haven't used drop command there is a difference between drop and delete and drop command is the component of data definition language and delete is a component of data manipulation language delete statement say for example this is the data of this table the delete statement will delete data only not the object okay two rows deleted if you select you have no row selected you can also roll back to 
retrieve that data. Okay. Commit is to save and drop will delete drop will drop the object. So we deleted data from phone book but if you select asterisk from catalog or cat you still have that empty table okay so this is there is an empty table which does not have any data in it drop will drop the object okay commit to save <coughs> 